No, I, I literally, I bought these, I like, there's no part of my body that feels pregnant. I yeah. just thought, like, why not? Yeah, why not? No. There's two <laughs> lines. <laughs> no. no, it's not, I don't think it's real. You don't think it's, it's not, it's, I don't know. It's pink, but it's not, like, red. <laughs> Maybe I pee too much. I just, I don't, I don't know, it's real. I don't think there could be too much. I don't know, I'm confused. Well, then let's read the instructions a little bit. Okay. After human dress, we shown two lines for pregnant, one line for not pregnant. I don't know, I don't know. Either way, either way, okay? What would you do? What would you do? I told you I'd jump up and down and be happy. How do you feel right now? Excited, nervous, excited. Take another test this morning. And it says that I'm pregnant. So uh, I guess I think this is happening. You can see. I'm supposed to leave for Sweden on Sunday. I feel fine, so what do I do? I guess I just tell my doctor. I'm excited. <laughs> this is so strange because yesterday when it was positive, even though I was crying, there was not a bone in my body that felt scared, which is so strange because I've been terrified or I've been telling myself that I've been terrified of getting pregnant for so long. But then something shifted in me about six months ago. And then now I feel no fear. I feel inexplainable. Just feel excited. It was really fun. Okay, I'm sorry. Meeting a bunch of people in person. Nature's path. That's just a box I put in. Oh. <laughs> what? Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god. <laughs> I can't believe it. Really? Oh my god. I had a feeling. Sorry. <laughs> because you wanted us to come over here. I, I was crying. trying to wait till tomorrow. Oh my god. <laughs> Don't do it. <laughs> She's oh, getting okay. the bun out of the oven. Yeah, well, she's gonna get the bun out of the oven. So which one's older, which one's younger? Who's bun? It's my bun. Oh, it's your bun! Yeah. <laughs> Thanks for getting the bun out of the oven. What? What's the joke? What am I missing? Susan. <laughs> Come on, even I can figure that out. Oh. <laughs> 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 We're on our way to our very first OBGYN appointment, first prenatal appointment, and I'm nervous. I'm eight weeks pregnant right now. There's something inside here. Is it not very clear? It's not quite what I would expect to see at eight weeks. Really? Yeah. It's a little bit smaller than I would like to see, and it doesn't quite look like. So things are complicated. I got a call from my doctor and she said that my lab results came in after my surgery and what they found is that I had what is called a partial molar pregnancy. I had never heard of this before. None of my other friends have heard of it before. It's apparently very rare, but it's essentially where two sperm fertilize one egg and you can Google it if you're curious, but it essentially is going to delay us from being able to try again because typically I'd be able to try as soon as my period comes back, but now I have to do bi-weekly blood tests until my HCG levels go down to zero. And then once it hits zero, I have to wait another couple months to make sure it stays that way because from my understanding, as explained to me from my doctor, if all the tissue that was 
in my uterus didn't get fully removed if any cells were left behind that tissue can regrow into this rare form of cancer called trophoblastic disease gtd gestational trophoblastic <laughs> which obviously i don't want to get <laughs> so the reason i have to delay trying is because that abnormal tissue regrowth would could trick my body into thinking it's pregnant again and regrow and then my hcg levels would go up but if i were actually pregnant then it'd be hard to know whether it was the cancer or actual pregnancy so now i have to wait definitely sucks because now there is a new fear unlocked so i am in facebook groups for partial molar pregnancies and i've been on reddit and all the things i don't know if it's necessarily making me feel better but at least i can hear some stories from other people hopefully my hcg level goes down everything clears up as normal and i can just move on from this I thought there was a scorpion at first. <laughs> Look at me. Look at me. I love you. We are here at my very first OB appointment. Second time around. And I'm feeling nervous. But I also think this whole time I've just been feeling trust in the process. Trust that no matter what happens, we can handle it and we will be okay. Mm -hmm. But hopefully there's good news this time. I'm seven weeks and... I found out at three weeks and four days, so it, this time has gone by very slowly. And we're finally here, so let's go in. Let's go. Let's see what happens. <laughs> Really going. Bum, bum, bum. Yeah, this is what we want to hear. 127 is really good. Oh, never mind. Baby's oh my god, it's wiggling. Little legs. Oh my god, it's so pretty. You can start to see parts of the spine. Ooh, big movement. Maybe just rotated. No, really? she won't oh feel my, it for oh several my god. months. Is that the face? See? Oh, baby. Baby's looking good. Looking strong and healthy. Actually measuring three days earlier than what we thought. Actually, but seven, that... Okay, that's our future. Oh, <laughs> that's a dirty diaper on the <laughs> Now that we had this appointment, we're gonna go ahead and mail our New Year's announcement cards to all of our extended family and friends that are out of town to finally let them know Time to mail. How many are these? 55, 60? There's like 55. I want to do half and half. Oh, we have to do little by little. Is that it? That's it. All right. Let the friends and fam know. That long. Oh my god! <laughs> Congratulations! Oh! Hey, Dad. Oh! Oh my god! 